Weaponize your curiosity with extraordinary belief. The Hypatia stone, pebbles found in Egypt, which once came from a huge rock that was several meters wide, have long been known to have come to Earth from somewhere else. But new research shows they are even more alien than we thought, having been formed outside of our solar system and even before our sun existed. That's the conclusion of new research that looked at how the strange rocks were formed by exploring what minerals can be found inside them. In 2013, the rocks were found not to have come from Earth, and two years later scientists confirmed that they had not come down to Earth as part of any known meteor or comet. The new work aimed to look at the minerals found inside and find how they were made up. When Hypatia was first found to be extraterrestrial, you are watching Supreme Mystery Code. What are your thoughts in this video? Let us know in the comments. It was a sensation, but these latest results are opening up even bigger questions about its origins, said Dr. Marco Andrioli, a research fellow at the School of Geosciences at the University of the Witwatersrand, and a researcher on the study. Jan Kramers, the professor who undertook the new study, said that the internal structure of the rock was something like a fruitcake that had fallen and broken across. By looking at the various bits of fruits that are found inside, they can try and understand how the rock was formed and where tea came from. We can think of the badly mixed dough of a fruit cake representing the bulk of the Hypatia pebble, what we call two mixed matrices in geology terms, said Professor Kramers. The glazed cherries and nuts in the cake represent the mineral grains found in Hypatia inclusions. And the flour dusting the cracks of the fallen cake represent the secondary materials we found in the fractures in Hypatia, which are from Earth, he says. The mixture of the dough looks like nothing ever before seen on Earth. Usually, scientists would expect to see a little bit of carbon and lots of silicon, but the rock is made up the complete opposite way around. The idea of ancient visitors from other planets in distant galaxies has been around since the beginning of human history. Although the theory has undoubtedly gained tremendous popularity over the past few decades, nearly every ancient tribe and civilization found on Earth, regardless of geographical location, have a story regarding visitors from other planets. Our choice of the most compelling would have to be that of the Dogons in Africa, one of the oldest surviving tribes on Earth. They not only have a legend which tells of alien visitors, but they retained invaluable data, reliable knowledge which was passed down from generation to generation. Details surrounding their ancient visitors' home solar system. Details that at the time, modern civilization had yet to discover. Known as the Nomo, the Dogon tell of giant reptilians who had traveled here from a small sister star of Sirius a star with a 40-year orbit that the Dogon still celebrate every 40 years. What is remarkable about their claims, however, is the details they give regarding the Sirius system and indeed the Nomo's home star, a tiny star which our modern telescopes did not confirm the existence of until several years after the first cataloguing of this information. Another strange reaction to these remarkable experiences within these ancient cultures is a wanting to replicate the appearance of these entities. These interplanetary visitors often brought gifts in the form of knowledge. Due to these revelations, many of our ancestors have perceived these beings as godlike. The teaching of agriculture, the gift of hops, cannabis. The Dogon state that hemp was a gift from the Nomo. Indeed, the dog star is the source of the plant's name. Even strawberries, among many other living things, and ingenious techniques of managing such, have been said throughout antiquity, indeed throughout the world's cultures, to have first arrived here on Earth in the form of gifts from these beings. The Dogu, Dogu meaning clay figure, could be seen as commemorative creations in memory of such entities visiting our planet in the past. Made during the late Jomon period over 10,000 years ago, made with such tremendous skill and artistic accuracy, you have to wonder, 
if these were not created with the purpose of remembering a detailed image of our guests' appearances, then what else were they created for? Or more specifically, to look like? Interestingly, some of the figures appear to have been deliberately created missing limbs, resting on intricately made crutches. Was this done with a likeness to real beings, possibly battle-scarred from previous more hostile encounters? The Incas, Mayans, Aztecs, Dogons, indeed anywhere you look within antiquity, you will inevitably be confronted with fantastic tales of ancient visitors. Even detailed knowledge of things so far out, we cannot even confirm if what they say is true. With so many similar legends found all across the world regarding ancient astronauts, it's safe to say the truth is out there.